have missed you so much. You kind of want to know where I've been. Here's a link to a video I shot earlier today. And let's get on with it. I have read a really awesome book series, The Iron Fae. I'm not even going to try to pronounce the author's name because I would completely destroy it. I'm going to talk about all four books. The series starts with The Iron King. The Iron Daughter, The Iron Queen, and last but not least, The Iron Knight. These books are amazing. If you have any sort of love for Shakespeare's plays, Romeo and Juliet, A Midsummer Night's Dream, you'll love this, these books. Uh, the author's just taken the classic play, A Midsummer Night's Dream, and just twisted it into a whole new world, a new adventure. It starts off with Megan Chase, just a regular girl with her best friend Robbie Goodfell, and they're just hanging out. Like she's a swamp girl, not very popular at school, nobody wants to be her friend except Robbie. Robbie's always been her friend. And then once she turns 16, she starts seeing things. She doesn't understand it, but she starts seeing things. And lo and behold, that's when Robbie reveals himself as Puck. The one, the only Robin Goodfellow. And just things spiral on from there. It is amazing, and I love it, and it's ah! Honestly, I cried throughout the last two books because they were so emotional. It just gets you so wrapped up. The first book is talking about Megan. She turns 16 and she noticed her brother's acting a little weird. Ethan's her four-year-old baby brother and one day she comes home and finds her mother injured and Ethan covered in blood, kind of looking evil. And turns out that Ethan was a changeling. If any of you don't know what a changeling is, that's when a fairy swaps a human child for one of their own. And the only way to get rid of a changeling is to either kill it or bring the original child back. Megan's no killer, so guess what they do? Her and Puck go off to the Never Never and a whole new life begins. Her goal is to find her baby brother, but Along the way, she learns fairies are real. There's goblins, there's all sorts of things. I can't even name the number of different fae that Julie writes about in these books. But just the creativity, the way she's knit the Never Never together and how the Never Never has its power and its glamour from people's beliefs and it starts to fade away bit by bit by lack of belief. And as soon as they go through the trod in Ethan's closet, they find they're in the wildwood and there's creatures that are pretty hungry there so they're gonna eat ya. They're being hunted by none other than Ash of the Winter Court. And the way this book works out is just amazing. Throughout the whole whole series. It's about Summer, the Summer Court, which is Puck, and Megan. And then there's the Winter Court, which is Ash, Queen Mab, his brothers. And then out of nowhere, there's another type of fae. A type of fae that is so deadly that can kill all other fae. And that's the Iron Fae. And it is just amazing the way she writes this whole new tale. And these Iron Fae are born of people's beliefs and love of science technology. And they have to venture into the Iron Court to save her brother. But Mab wants her dead. There's just so much that goes on in this story. So essentially, Ash and Megan end up going into the Iron Realm to get her brother back. 
and it's not the last time they end up going into the Iron Realm to do something and there's a lot of murder, there's a lot of conspiracy and it's quite a Romeo and Juliet story between Ash and Megan. But you have Puck in there too and I feel bad for Puck. But Ash has a point when he says that Puck had 16 years to make his move. So I don't, without giving too much away, that I think that's about all I'm going to say about the actual storyline. Other than the fact that the first three books are all jam-packed excitement. It's all around Megan, what she's doing, her quests, and just the Iron Queen, I cried. Like that final scene, the final battle in that book, I was like, no, what's no? It just ripped my heart out. And then reading the Iron Knight and what Ash goes through in order to even try and be with Megan. Because it's against all laws for Fae of different courts to be together. And Ash could never be in the Iron Kingdom because it would kill him. So that last book is amazing. And just a tale of friendship, a tale of love. Ariella was Ash's original love. But something happened between Puck, Ash, and Ariella that she died. And there's just this feud going on between Ash and Puck because he vowed to kill Puck for letting Ariella die. And that last book, you're going to be blown away. Everything that happens in that last book blew me away. So I hope it blows you away. Anyway, okay, I'm not going to say any more about those books. I'm going to take that, my friends, is where my camera died. I was so close to finishing. What I was going to say is I'm taking my books back to the library and I'm going to get Clockwork Princess. Oh my gosh, need some more heart ripping outage. I am going to finish that book too. And I'm also going to talk to you guys about the madness underneath. So read those books if you haven't, read the Clockwork books and ah, be awesome. Bye.